Hey y'all, Carrie Werner here with an interesting topic that you've no doubt thought about, and that's whether to ship or rent a bike when you travel. We here at Bike Flights prefer to ship our own gear, but let's explore both sides of this question. When you ship your own bike, one of the number one advantages is that you get your own bike, exactly how you want it set up and the way that you prefer it to be set up. That means bar width, saddle height, saddle type, gearing, and suspension setup. All exactly how you want it. You'll have your familiar setup on potentially unfamiliar terrain such as greenways, roads, or trails. And having that extra level of comfort could really increase the quality of your trip. Sometimes when you rent a bike, you may have to make some compromises. For example, you may have to run different componentry than you're used to. Things might work the same, but they also might not. Also, the rental bikes you're looking at may not be available in your size. This is especially true if you are above average height or below average height. Something as seemingly small as having your rental bike set up with tubes as opposed to tubeless tires could really influence your trip. If you're used to riding with tubeless tires, but you jump on a rental bike with tubes, you might find yourself flatting more often. Rental bikes may have different shaped frames than what you're used to at home, and therefore, if you're bringing bags, it might not accommodate with the frame that you're renting. Therefore, making your bike packing or touring trip less than ideal. Rental bikes come in a variety of different conditions. Some in great shape, some in not so great shape. We've experienced rental bikes to have frayed shifter cables, bald tires, loose brake calipers, and worn out drivetrains. On the other hand, we've rented bikes that are well maintained and in good shape. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Let's walk through a hypothetical trip. Once you know where you're going, the logistics planning begins. And the first thing you need to consider is which bike you wanna bring. If you're looking to bring your e-bike with you, just know that you can ship your e-bike to anywhere in the contiguous United States. You cannot ship your e-bike to Hawaii, Alaska, or internationally at the time of this video. That means you could ship your e-bike without its battery just like a traditional bike, which opens up shipping to nearly 60 different countries and all over the United States. Next, you'll have to pack your bike. When you ship a bike, someone has to pack it before you ship it, and then it needs to be reassembled when you get to your destination. This also has to happen in reverse for your return trip. If you lack the time or expertise to pack or reassemble your bike, you can always hire local bike shops to do it for you. Bike shops can have a variety of different fees for packing or rebuilding a bike. Price can be influenced by time, which can be influenced by how much you have to disassemble your bike to get it in the box or case that you're using to ship. It typically takes us 45 minutes to two hours to pack a bike. If you rent a bike, you won't have to build it before riding or disassemble and pack it when you're done. Let's look at some key logistics differences between renting and shipping your bike. When you rent a bike, you won't have to borrow, buy, or rent a case to ship your bike in. However, you may have to look into larger rideshare options or potentially rent a larger vehicle to be able to transport your rental bike to and from the destination you're riding. Fortunately, if you ship your bike to your destination, you can ship directly to a friend's house, Airbnb, or hotel. If you ride from this destination, you may not have to hire or rent a vehicle at all. Just make sure somebody is available at the delivery location to sign for your package if it's valued for more than $500. It may be a good idea to think about how long you may be without your bike. For example, when you rent a bike, you get to ride your bike up to the day you leave and immediately when you get home. You just can't ride your bike on the trip. When you ship a bike, you get to ride your bike for the length of your trip. However, the trade-off is that you'll be without it for some amount of time before the trip and some amount of time after the trip. That depends on your shipping speed, which usually ranges between one and five business days. When you book with bike flights, our website will automatically calculate estimated shipping time. And if you're fortunate enough to have more than one bike, being without the bike you shipped might not be as big of a deal. 
The most important consideration for many riders is probably cost. So let's get into that. The cost to ship your bike could be cheaper than the cost to rent a bike. The cost of shipping your bike is determined by the size of the box or case you're shipping, the weight, and the location from and where you're shipping to, as well as the speed that you want to ship with. You will know exactly how much you're gonna pay to ship your bike once you go through the bike flight's checkout process. Aside from the cost of shipping, if you decided to hire somebody to pack your bike on the way there or back, you'll want to factor in those costs as well. Rental costs can vary depending on the type of bike, the quality of the bike, geographical location, and your rental period. You'll know all of those costs up front when you book your rental, but be prepared to cover any damage fees after your rental is done. The total number of days that you plan on renting and the quality of bike that you want to rent are key factors in determining the price point of a rental. In our experience, it tends to be more advantageous cost-wise to ship your bike the longer your trip is. Now that we've explored both sides of the predicament, let's go over a few questions you can ask yourself to determine which option is best for you or your specific trip. How important is it to have your own setup? What kind or condition of bike do you want to rent? What are your riding goals on this trip? How long is your trip? Are you able to pack and assemble your own bike? Do your plans allow for easy bike transport or pickup? Do you have a bike case or can you borrow one? By asking yourself these questions and using the examples and considerations mentioned throughout this video, I think you can come to a solution quite easily. Give this video a like, and for more helpful packing and shipping related videos, subscribe to the Bike Flights YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.